how can I say, like, they have an ambition to not have to um, just be kind of bound by American morality and projects. Put it that way, okay? So let's pretend that this new kind of rival world order by the Russians, the Chinese, and the Iranians comes into being. If you think the Israelis, won't, like the Indians, won't stab America in the back in an instant, you've got another thing coming. Because in their foreign policy, well, I say in there, they have people who still think in a realist way in Israel. Okay? Now, now you, could, you could argue that what Netanyahu's doing is not very real, right? Uh, in another way, you could justify it, as Yavin did, Okay? But Israel are not, and the Israelis are not, ideologically committed to America. They'll say fuck America in a heartbeat, which which makes it even more baffling how cucked and pathetic and and kind of supine the Western leaders are towards Israel. It it really is like it turns my stomach to see how pathetic the Americans are when it comes to this issue, because. Those conversations happen in broad daylight. The Israelis don't give a shit about you. They wouldn't spit on you. And yet, we see all of this. So, yeah, it, it is remarkable, really. It is remarkable. Um, but uh, anyway, hopefully this was uh, illuminating. And, I, and to be honest, I, I respect the Israeli position a lot more than the American one, right, from their own point of view, from their own point of view, right? Obviously. I am never going to be a hardcore Zionist for obvious for reasons I hope are obvious. Okay, but but from their own point of view, I respect them a lot more. I I, I much more respect a hardcore Jewish a Zionist than um, you know these kind of American Christian Zio type. I mean, I don't understand that at all. I don't understand the Tory boy at all. I understand them. And I kind of respect their mindset much more. So, you know, they're going to, ultimately, they're going to want to do what's best for their people, as every people should. Okay. Whether what's doing best for their people is, you know, wiping out the Palestinians remains to be seen. Okay. We'll, history will judge ultimately, right? Maybe it will be the right thing. Who knows? Um, but I have a feeling that uh, in the end, uh, that they will be brought to heel. But anyway, uh, Glow in the Dark says uh, with a super chat, I wonder if all of this green energy coke is a way for the West to try to move away from the Middle East oil. I, I, I've often thought that, Glow in the Dark. I, I've often thought that um, the uh, aim to stop being so reliant on oil um, could be part of it. But then... I also look at the fact that America has a lot of oil itself. Now, I'm not an oil expert, right? And I understand there are different, like, types of oil, right? There's crude oil and there's this oil and that oil. So I don't know if America has all the different type, types of oil you need, right? But my understanding is that America's sitting pretty when it comes to oil. So it makes even less sense from that point of view. Um, I, I also don't understand, like, if you have a look into what is required to make green energy, a lot of it is reliant on stuff that's made in China. So China basically is quids in either way. They, they, they benefit from the they benefit from that. Um, and, and of course, uh, Rus the Russians up until recently would benefit from green energy as well because they are the major gas providers in the world. So, so I, I don't really, I don't really um, understand that uh also up until recently they had the saudis in their pockets as well so i just it's hard to uh it's hard to fathom what the green stuff is about um in a cynical way i think a lot of them are true believers when it comes to that i uh, i really do think they they believe climate change the, the whole narrative around it um that's my that 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 makes sense more of their actions than assuming they're in bad faith, right? Uh, but there's an awful lot of grift around it. I also remember reading a paper some years back 
um, that a lot of the climate change activism was a Russian psyop. Now, again, I don't know if this was Alex Jones tier stuff or not, but apparently it uh, helps the Russians for people to be more green because they end up they end up relying on stuff that Russia can provide more. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know at the end of the day. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, somebody can pull that out. That wouldn't be hard to find. I can't remember where that study was from. To me, it sounds like the sort of thing that would be produced by like the American conservatards sphere, but I could, I could be wrong. I could be wrong on that.